Hello everyone, and welcome back to Nemoria. Ah, oh, we left off, we were building another tower on our wonderful wall. And we searched for a lot of metal. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Still got a couple of animals just wandering around. But it's a lot better than it used to be. So that's a good thing. Now, we are down a lot of people. What's this? Ten blunderbuss. Yay! He has a blunderbuss. So, we were doing a lot of mining in the last few episodes. Just grabbing all the metal that we knew was easily available to us. Kind of like this stuff right here. Because why not if it's so readily available? Is there anything over there? And kind of, what is this? Is it coal or is it tin? It's tin, so there might be a vein. We can mine over there and find out. So let's do it. You can just do a straight line, straight shot. Hope to find something. Is there any chasms over here that we wanted to look into? Yeah, maybe one. Let's do this one and see if we can find something. Nothing over here. Some coal over there. So nothing that exciting. Ooh, but hey, we already got some down here. Oh, well, it doesn't look like there's a vein there at all. Oh boy. There aren't veins down on that floor. Oops. Oh well. Guess that's not going to work out too well for us. We're trying our best to find everything we can. I know we have plenty of metal again. Like, it's fine, but it could be better. It can always be better. Just checking for chasms. So it is the 10th day of fall now, so we might actually get nomads in this episode, which would be great. Oh boy, what are you? A copper golem? What? I've never seen one made of metal. Okay, well let's see how this goes. Yes, I know it has been spotted. I told you to go attack it. And a merchant from the Toady Kingdom's Reserve. I wanted to see the fight. We'll deal with the merchant later. What's his health look like? Okay. So they seem to be winning. Oh, here's a late comer to the party. Good job. Come on, guys, you got this. You can do it, military. It's taking a while. I forgot how resilient. I don't know if that's the right word, but they're difficult to kill. <sighs> how does he not have, like, an injured everything? Upper body, lower body, right leg, right foot, left leg, left foot, right arm, right hand, left arm, left hand. Dazed and has fallen over. But they can't bleed, so they must die some other way. But I think we'll be alright. I am, um, yeah, the golem died. I figured he was not going to survive with all those injuries, you know? So what about on this level? There's some coal over here. So we can just mine this out and see what there is to see. There's more coal over there. And there's sapphires over there. Oh gosh, there's even more. Who knows how much coal there might be down here. Alright, so it looks like that might be it for the coal. Oh no, there's one here. Oh, another one. So much coal! Oh, and there's sapphires here. I didn't even notice them. So 
So we'll definitely mine out that. Oh boy. Look at all of the coal. Flea or Philly, why are you passing out from exhaustion? Gems. Gems are always good too. We don't turn them down. I know I've checked like all these floors before. I want all of it. But you know, I know that I get distracted. I don't finish mining out different uh, veins of stuff. It's just a good idea to finish mining it out before you forget about it. So I'm gonna try and do that. And then we can have all the things that we need. Look at all the copper. Wow, there's more copper. I love it when there is more copper. Tis best. What floor? Oh wow, the, these are actually on this floor. That's a lot of emeralds. You know what? Let's honestly... Just since copper tends to come in veins, let's just mine over here just a little bit. <laughs> See what there is to see. Since we're gonna have a miner coming down here anyway to deal with that wall, it can't hurt. I don't know why none of these torches have been put in. Like, absolutely none of them. I don't think we're down to this level yet. We're down to level 48, but that's the deepest we've gone. This is a really shallow one, actually. I was doing something. We were down at level negative 48. Alright, because this one is so shallow, we can just, like, take all of that out. And we can take this out, because, like, it's just these three blocks levels, so that's fine. I'm fine with dealing with that chasm, because it's so tiny. But I don't think anything bad's gonna happen. Now, I probably say that and then it totally will, but we'll take that as it comes. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't just, like, spawn Satan. Alright, Market Stall, you have logs. We want them. 522. So, what do we have to trade? 522. Uh, you can have a fine sapphire ring, and you can have a regular sapphire ring. Oh, that's just three over. Oh, that's fine. I'm not gonna nitpick that much. I said trade! Alright, I'm not gonna nitpick that much. Let's go. So... I should probably check on the mining. I should have done that on the way up. More metal! Come on. There we go. Um. Oh yeah, that's four. There's just so many floors that we've like mined out bits and pieces of now that it gets a little confusing. Oh jeez. Uh, I don't want to attack the tin ore. I want to attack the marble golem. Golem, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Attack with all squads. Also, there's just this random ammo pouch. Oh gosh, there's a second one. Oh no. And goblins! This is not fair! Should never have sent people down the mines. Okay, we sound the alarm. Hopefully the engineer will come up and ring the alarm bell and everyone will get down here. One goblin has said, What is that one wearing? Steel? 
You're having enough trouble with iron. Here's the dead one too. Like they haven't even tripped the traps yet. Okay, well, at least some of them are bleeding to death. How's that alarm not been pulled yet? My engineer is sleeping. Well, no one should come out here if the engineer isn't going to. Dang it, who are you? The tailor. Why on earth are you coming out here? Don't. You're coming out here for the bear, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, they run away. Just run back up. Run up there. Don't be out here. No. What are you doing? Woodcutter, no! Don't do it! Run away! Woodcutter, no! <laughs> yep, Quizzle has died. Okay. Where are you going? No! Blacksmith, Fizzwizzle deck, don't do this! You're going to your death. Look, he's dressed in blue. Okay. Well, I mean, he's gone through a lot of traps at this point. Is he leaving? There's one goblin left. Did he leave? No. I don't know what's going on. Okay, enemies are all gone. So let's put back all the doors. Where was the last one? That was oh, this one. And then we'll put back all the other doors. I wish I had not put in stone doors. It's kind of annoying to do every time. Oh, and now, of course, the alarm's been wrong. No. No, we don't need the alarm anymore. It didn't actually help. I think we just lost the one gnome. Yeah, we lost Twizzle. Was Twizzle the woodcutter? Yeah, Twizzle was a woodcutter. Okay. So woodcutters would actually be nice when we get a group of nomads, hopefully, because we lost so many people. Um, fingers crossed. Be a nice Christmas present. For me, it's Christmas today, so, yeah. For you guys, Christmas was several days ago now. But for me, it's Christmas today, so it's quite nice. It'd be a wonderful Christmas present to get lots of nomads. So we'll just have to see if we do. Did we? Like, where? We only have two builders, too? Oh, goodness. That explains a lot. Well, at least we probably won't get goblins again for a little bit. I'd also like to build torches. Like, here and here. I know we're going to probably continue, like, elongating the wall, so I don't want to put them, like, in front of them, but we'll just have to see. This poor engineer is like, why do I have to go reset all the traps? Because almost all of them were actually tripped by the goblins, which is really good. I mean, it means we get to have lots of um, yummy goblin sausage for breakfast tomorrow. So that's a good thing. Always a plus. It started raining! But it's still early on the 12th day of fall, so we have some time to kill before nomads show up. But nomads will be very good. Very good. Have we built the uh, training grounds? No. We haven't even built in all the fences. It's because we don't have any builders. That's fun. 
<sighs> well, at least our hallway of death mostly did its job. I don't know why people would be coming outside. Like, why did we have a woodcutter and such coming outside? Oh, to pick up stuff. Oh gosh, another one of you. Attack with all squads, please. Ooh, and here's a bunch of metal. I'm all for mining metal. There's more metal on this floor. Woo! Okay. Wow, we supposedly have three guys on their way. Two guys on their way. We had three. Now we have two. Two guys on their way. Two mine out to this wall. I wonder where they are. I mean, I suppose we are 29 floors down. So it takes them a while to get here. Oh, they're stuck here, I'm guessing. Hopefully this guy won't take too much longer to kill so that we can get our miners down here to do their work. It is very important work that they do. Ooh. Not yet. I had not noticed this before, but this could be a gold mine. So let's see if we got a big thing going on over there. Okay, so we definitely have some metal going on here, which is cool. Gotta get it all of it. Look at that lovely metal number just jump up. So nice. Of course. There always has to be one more little piece of something. So we can take out these two. Just take out all of that and some more if you don't mind. We have very important things that we want to mine out of these walls. I am worried that eventually we're just going to run out of like metal to mine on the map. And I'm going to be like, no, now we have to trade for all of it. It is now winter. Which means that in a few short hours, hopefully nomads will show up at our doors. And we will welcome them with open arms and be like, come join us. It's fun, I swear. We don't regularly have people die or anything. <laughs> Look, our cemetery, it just has skulls in it. And it has only goblin skulls, probably. What are these things? Leather boots. They're just leather boots strewn all over our cemetery. No one seems concerned about this except me. But they're just strewn about. Oh, we're not going to get any more... Oh my god, the wheat. We're not going to get any more farms for this whole season. So I'll definitely have um, the farmers forage everything once they're done with uh, the farms, which may take the majority of the season, but hey, you never know when they might need something else to do, so just going to have something lined up for them. And the mushrooms will grow throughout the year, which is good. In fact, they're over here harvesting them right now. We don't really need to be harvesting these right now. We can harvest the wheat. And kind of get back our stockpile of that. Somebody was moving a training dummy. Somebody was, and then they stopped on the stairs. I know we have both training dummies that we need for this. Come on. Yeah, we have seven training dummies. Shouldn't be that difficult. So what will we need when the uh, nomads show up? Builders, for sure. Engineer would be nice. Farmers, most definitely. Um, 
And woodcutters. By the looks of it. We still have our jeweler, right? She hasn't died? No. Trixie's still here. Trixie's getting amazing at what she does. Well, sort of. Jewelry making doesn't seem to increase that skill very quickly at all, and I wonder if that's a glitch, or if that's just, like, it's supposed to be difficult because of what that's worth. Because jewelry is worth a lot, so if you just had someone who could turn out, like, legendary stuff all the time, then you would be able to just trade for, like, whatever you wanted all the time and not have to worry. Awesome! 13 nomads! Let's see what they can do! So, we need a lot of people in specific roles. You were meant to be a miner. We don't need those, though. Builder, though, we can always use. Another miner. A woodcutter? Great. We needed at least one of those. I'll even take a second one if we've got one that's, like, really good at it. We do! I said I'd take ya. So there you go. The rest of ya? I know. A lot of you are probably gonna be farmers. Your farming is low, but your horticulture is high, and your cooking is pretty high. You'd be a cook. We haven't had a cook in a while, actually. Let's just do that cook. Farmer. Your horticulture is low, but your farming is pretty good, so farmer. And we wanted maybe an engineer as well. That's not that good. That's not that good either. You're not a terrible rancher, though. Pretty terrible blacksmith. What about Builder? Eh. Eh. I don't like it with building that low because then they build really slow. You are going to be a rancher because you're pretty good at it. Farmer? Eh. You could be a second brewer though, like honestly. That might be what we need. We might just need a second brewer and a second um, distillery. Uh, could you be an engineer? Not really. With a blacksmith. Weapon crafting is low, but the others are not bad. So sure, you can be a blacksmith. Farmer. Gosh, your farming's really low. But, oh god, no. Um. 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 This guy. This guy, though. I don't know what to do about you. I don't need another miner. I really don't. Right now. I guess you can be a farmer and you'll, you'll, you'll learn. Farmer, most definitely. Okay, we need an engineer. Not you. Preferably. Nor are you meant to be a farmer. You're a terrible blacksmith. You know what, I'm making you a builder, because, hey, we can always use more of those. Nope, you're not a builder. You're not a farmer. You're not an engineer. You're really not a blacksmith. What are you? You really wanted to be, like, a miner or something, didn't know. I guess you're a rancher, too. We need an engineer. You're not terrible. Tinkering goes up pretty quickly. There you go. Engineer. How are we doing now? Okay, four blacksmiths, one brewer, five builders, one cook, two engineers, a lot of farmers, one jeweler, four miners, one prospector, five ranchers, two tailors, one weapon maker, and four woodcutters. It's not the ideal distribution, but it'll have to do. And all of y'all are going to have to take a look at perhaps joining the military. In fact, let's do that now. Okay. I only have two in the gunmen now, because we only have two guns that I know I know we have. Alright, we do have two spots open. Who's going to get them? Not you. Why is it always the engineers that are good at things? I'm not giving it to him because he's an engineer. Uh, yeah, actually. Wobble. You're pretty good. My ranchers always seem to end up there, too. I think that's how I n never have that many of them. You could be good. We should just pick the best, though. So I'll come back. I know that I put a... Oh, wow. This other rancher is really good with a hammer. 
And the farmer's really good with an axe. We'll put the farmer. Once we have that other one built, I can add a fourth team or fourth squad. But I need this one built first and so that they can all have like a training time. So we'll just have to see how it goes. They'll assign themselves rooms. We have plenty of them. Alright, well 13, that puts us back up to 38 population. We only have three idle people. One prospector, one rancher, and one woodcutter. They might be in the military, because my prospector should just never be... My prospector should, like, never be down. Like, he should be constantly prospecting. Because he's the only one that can do it. He's the only one that I've told to do it. Yeah, prospecting's up at 18. That seems to be rising fairly slowly as well. So I'm wondering if, like, some of the specialty crafts, they just don't, um, they don't go up very quickly to try and, like, balance out all of that stuff. I don't really know, though. We are getting tables in, though. I love it when our tables start coming in. It's gonna look so good. Hopefully. When it's done. There'll be a lot of sitting space. We don't have this floor done yet. Nor do we have this floor done, although we're a lot closer. Getting in all those sandstone blocks. Very important. Do, 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 do. But yeah, I'm behind on videos, so I'm like, I have to record on Christmas. But I've, I've pretty much done all my Christmas stuff now. Got back from visiting my family. Um, you know, unwrapped all my presents. It's been a lot of fun. And now it's kind of just back to the normal routine. Wow, this guy's got a sword and an axe. Look at him being all crazy. And we only have one forge going right now. Usually I have a lot of blacksmiths. Like, I usually have more than four, it seems, at least in this playthrough. And that's really helpful. But I am starting to think a second distillery and a second brewer might not be the worst idea. It might be a really good idea. It's just there's no more room in the kitchen, which is kind of just this room. Um, but I like having a cook that just cooks. Oh boy. Let us attack this guy. Go. Oh no! Oh no, run away, run away, you poor, poor sir. Or madam. Crisban from from Keto. Why on earth is this engineer down here? I don't want to lose an engineer. Oh gosh, there is another one. This is not good. Run away. No. No, you must run away. Oh, okay, there is military here. There is military here to help. Maybe no one will die. Maybe. Okay, one of them's dead. Now the other one will be dead. Wobble, no! Wobble was new! Was Wobble the farmer? Probably. Rip Wobble. She didn't even get to train and then we had her take on a golem. I'm sorry, she didn't even have like any, yeah, she had like gauntlets and that was it in terms of protection. The mines are dangerous, we should just close them off and never open them again. Fortunately, we need stuff that's down there for uh, important things. Uh, 
Well, I think with the with killing the golems, that's going to do it for this episode of Nemoria. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye